Hello, you all come to solve this math problem, which is a square minus b is equal to 111. b square minus a is equal to 111. To find the values of a and b's such that a is not equal to b. Now first, we start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then into the first step, we'll take equation 1 minus equation 2. So from equation 1 in the left side, it is a square minus b. So here, a square minus b, then minus equation 2 in the left side, it is b square minus a. So here bracket b square minus a bracket is equal to, into the right side, it is this 111 minus 111, which is 0. Then we'll open this bracket by this negative. So it will be a square minus b. Negative here to be negative b square. Negative and negative to be plus a is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be this a square minus b square. So a square minus b square. Then plus a minus b. So here plus a minus b is equal to zero then from here a square minus b square this is in the form of a perfect square so this is same as a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket then plus a minus b so you can place bracket a minus b bracket is equal to zero then from here a minus b is common so we'll take a minus b bracket out of bracket this divided by this it is this a plus b then plus this divided by this is one bracket is equal to zero then from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution which is a minus b is equal to zero and this is the second solution a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, into this first solution, we take negative b to the right side. So it will be a is equal to b. But we recall the condition from our problem, a is not equal to b, this condition. So, but a is not equal to b, so this solution is not possible. So we reject this solution. Then we we'll continue to solve from this second solution. We we'll take one to the right side. It will be a plus b is equal to negative one. Then this we call this equation three. Then into the next step, because into the first step we we'll take equation one minus equation two. Then into this step we'll take equation one plus equation two. Now from equation 1 plus equation 2 in the left side, it is a square minus b plus b square minus a. So into here, it is a square minus b plus b square minus a. Then it's equal to, in the right side, it is this 111 plus 111. So into here, 111 plus 111. Then it will be a square plus b square, so a square plus b square, then minus a minus b, so minus a minus b is equal to this plus this, it is 222. Then it will be this a square plus b square, then is equal to this 222 minus a minus b, we take to this side, it will be plus a plus b then it will be a square plus b square is equal to this 222 plus a plus b is from equation 3 a plus b is negative 1 so into here we substitute negative 1 then it will be a square plus b square is equal to this minus 1 it is 221 so this equation, because this is equation 3, this will call this equation 4. Then in the next step, we recall from equation 
3 where as equation 3 which is a plus b is equal to negative 1 so from equation 3 which is a plus b is equal to negative 1 then we square in both sides so it will be a plus b bracket square is equal to negative 1 bracket square so the square of a plus b it is a square plus b square then plus 2ab is equal to negative 1 square is 1 then into here a square plus b square is from equation 4 a square plus b square is equal to 221 so into here we substitute 221 then plus 2ab is equal to 1 then here it will be this which is 2ab is equal to 1 221 take to this side it will be minus 221 then it will be 2ab is equal to this minus this it is negative 221 negative 221 plus 1 is negative 220 then from this equation which is 2ab is equal to negative 220 we'll write here 2ab is equal to negative 220 we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be ab is equal to this divided by 2 it is negative 110 then from here we make a the subject so we'll divide by b in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be a is equal to negative 110 divided by b then we substitute this 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 we call because this this is equation 4 this we call this equation 5 then we substitute this equation 5 into equation 3 whereas equation 3 it is this which is a plus b is equal to negative 1 so here a a it is this negative 110 over b so it will be negative 110 over b then plus b is equal to negative 1 then this is same as over 1 then the denominator of here b and 1 it is b b divided by b it is 1 1 times negative 100 and 10 it is negative 110 then plus b divided by 1 it is b b times b it is b square then is equal to this negative 1 then from here this is same as over 1 then we we'll cross multiply so it will be this which is negative 110 plus b square is equal to b times negative 1 is negative b then it will be this which is b square negative b will take to this side it will be plus b then minus 110 is equal to 0 then from this quadratic equation it can be solved by grouping and factorization because here we have b and this negative 110 then it will be b square then plus b is same as plus 11b minus 10b 11b minus 10b is b then this minus 110 is equal to 0 then from here b is common so we'll take b out of bracket this b squared divided by b is b then plus 11b divided by b is 11 bracket then into here we take negative 10 out of bracket negative 10b divided by negative 10 is b negative 110 divided by negative 10 it is plus 11 bracket is equal to 0 then from here b plus 11 is common so we'll take b plus 11 out of bracket then this divided by this is b this divided by this is this negative 10 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution b plus 11 is equal to 0 and this is second solution b minus 10 is equal to 0 
then from this first solution we take 11 to the right side it will be b is equal to negative 11 and into this second solution we take negative 10 to the right side it will be b is equal to 10 now into here we got the values of b now to get the to get the values of a we recall from the third equation which is a plus b is equal to negative 1 so from a plus b is equal to negative 1 we make a the subject to be a is equal to negative 1 this to take to this side to be minus b so it will be a is equal to negative 1 minus b here b it is this negative 11 so negative 11 negative and negative it will be positive so it will be a is equal to 11 minus negative 1 it is 10 so we got the values from this first solution a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 11 so we can write here the conclusion a comma b is equal to 10 comma negative 11 so a comma b is equal to 10 comma negative 11 this is the first solution and from the second solution into this a plus b is equal to negative 1 then here we make a the subject it will be a is equal to negative 1 minus b same like this then we substitute the value of b which is 10 so it will be a is equal to negative 1 minus b which is 10 so it will be a is equal to minus 1 minus 10 it is minus 11 so a is minus 11 b is 10 therefore a comma a comma b is negative 11 comma 10 so here a comma b is equal to negative 11 comma 10 so this is our conclusion whereas a the value of a here it is the value of b and here the value of b here it is the value of a so they interchange now to check if these values are correct let's check from this first solution a comma b is 10 comma negative 11 so from this first equation a square a square it will be 10 square so here it is 10 square then minus b sorry minus b whereas b here it is this negative 11 so it will be minus negative 11 is it equal to this 111 then into here 10 square it is 100 negative and negative it will be positive so it will be plus 11 is it equal to 111 this plus this is 111 which is equal to 111 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for this first solution a comma b is 10 comma negative 11 now to check for this second solution a comma b is negative 11 comma 10 now from this first first equation a square it will be negative 11 square so here negative 11 bracket square then minus b it will be minus b here from the second solution b it is 10 so minus 10 is it equal to this 111 then negative square it is positive 11 square it is 121 then minus this 10 is it equal to this 111 121 minus 10 it is 111 which is equal to 111 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for this second solution a comma b it is negative 11 comma 10 so this is our final this is the our final answers thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye